Okay, January 24th, 2021, 2 a.m. Dream Chris and I become cast members for Saturday Night Live. <clears throat> so we're in this big space after the show. So even when it's space it describes a big room in my dreams, it also seems to have to do with space science, frequency-based technologies. <clears throat> Once again, I'm still sensing an attack to my left lung and or heart. Just FYI. Okay, it's a party. Everyone wearing masks at first. Then I look around and something's wrong. I realize no one's wearing a mask. Um, someone has a dog or dogs. Now, Harry Styles kept showing up in the stream, and he just came to my mind right here. So in the sense, in the, in the spot where I look around and nobody, something's wrong, nobody's wearing a mask. Harry Styles just came to me again. Okay, Kate McKinnon or someone is making masks out of paper napkins, so they're kind of like that, like almost like a bandana-like sh shape with the triangle hanging down. They're not very effective. I say, I need to find Chris. We need to go home. She looks at me like I'm a party pooper. Okay, she says. <clears throat> Harry Styles is there. I'm wandering through this space. Can't find Chris. I start yelling, Chris, Chris. I wonder if he's had his vaccine, but I know that I haven't had one. I wake up, uh, and awake, I ask Chris if he's had his vaccine, and he said he hasn't had a vaccine yet. And he's watching on something TV, on TV, a show with a space and environment like in my dream. The show is called New Girl. And um, I watched the show long enough, I wrote in the notes below, um, what I saw in this show, which is this quote-unquote New Girl wanting to watch movies with these guys and they're all watching horror movies and she wants to eat ice cream and watch fame and so she talks about what fame is about you know people seeking fame and then she goes oh there's so much blood watching the horror movie and then she goes oh this ice cream is so good so ice cream is code for assassination finance and um i have really mixed feelings about the way the entertainment industry presents all this stuff they don't present it in a negative light at all they present it, which is more than you can say for a lot of people. They actually, but it's all, of course, in coded language. They present what's going on in coded language. But they turn it into a joke and like something, this is just how it is and this is how we live. We murder, we profit from murder. We joke about it. Dream I intend some kind of church service with the family of Kurt Cobain. His mother, and I think an ex-girlfriend is there. She's a blonde ex-girlfriend, someone that I don't recognize and have never seen before. There is music at the church service, electrified, kind of, I feel, like Buffalo Springfield. By the way, I'm just going to say, I think Buffalo Springfield, in addition to being linked to Neil Young, who is linked to shenanigans, um, <clears throat> specifically Neil Young is, um, I mean, shenanigans involving nasty interactions with my mother but um uh buffalo springfield the band was made up of a couple people from la and a couple people from canada so it's the linking of the mk ultra cultures los angeles and canada i think that's partly why that was there also kind of like music I've seen at other Pentecostal services. So Chris was raised in a Pentecostal church, and my daughter's father was raised in a Pentecostal church, and I've been to various Pentecostal services. I used to joke about the Pentecostals kidnapping me. This is before I actually literally got kidnapped by police. I used to joke because they would come and find me at Easter time, wherever I was, it seemed like, and take me to church, and I went to all the weird Pentecostal services. Um, because churches in general engage in brainwashing activities. That's probably where a lot of um, study of brainwashing came from, is be religious behaviors. Because people who want to control other people want to find out what, ways to, you know, get people to follow along. I'm really getting attacked on the left side of my chest right now by, uh, you know, the FBI. Seems like I'm sitting there at one point with a pile of books and materials, and the girlfriend also has a lot of stuff like this. There is a guy with a camera, like a professional-style camera, recording the service, taking candid images of the audience. At one point, there's a gun. A thirty-eight, maybe. An earlier gun of Cobain's. 
and it looks like a short black gun. So what I'm seeing here is a black gun, but it actually looks like a sawed-off shotgun. Sometimes it seems like I'm going back in time. I think it has to do with the two tubes, the double barrel, and um, the link to these assassination plans against Chris and me, which have been there forever. You know, they just, they try, I think they tried to find some weak-ass way to justify it after the fact, but it, it was, wasn't like these plans didn't ever ex not exist. They might have lied to people and said that they weren't going to do this or that there was some sort of other plan going on, but they never did in the background. This whole thing is, has every single twist in this is the worst possible thing. They have all these surprise, you know, twists in this situation that we're in, and they're always bad. And that's why I feel like, why are people even going along with this at all? Why wouldn't you rebel against this thing? Like, of all the things to rebel against, this would be the thing to rebel against, in my mind, because it's so nasty and so fake. And as soon as you enter into an agreement, I mean, some people may have felt that they entered into some part, sort of voluntary agreement. I don't see how that's possible. But assume you think you did. As soon as they start pulling these twists on you, they've violated their agreement. In any sane society, when you violate an agreement to this degree, that agreement is null and void. This agreement is null and void. Whatever freaking agreement you guys had on this is null and void because of how nasty it is and how they've been twisting and twisting and twisting and twisting and twisting just to gain more and more power, more and more power, more and more money, and more and more murders. Why are people rebelling against this whole scale as hard as they possibly can. I don't have an answer to that. I wish I did. Part of it is mind control. Part of it is finance. Part of it is fear. Part of it is just selfishness, I guess. Inability to see a big picture. Control. You know, the control of information is big. My, my videos are our shadow band that you know that I should have maybe made a bigger deal about that earlier on but I don't know if I could have ever done anything about it I would like if there's somebody that has the money because what I what I heard in one of my dreams was that the reason my videos are shadow banned is not because of any official policy but because somebody actually paid for that to happen so if they paid for them to be shadow banned it seems like maybe they could be paid for them to be unshadow banned maybe somebody would like to do that on my behalf ask YouTube how much it would cost to unshadow ban me I, I think that my videos should show up in searches, keyword searches on YouTube and, you know, elsewhere. I mean, they do show up on Google sometimes. They do show up on Google, but I don't think they show up on YouTube searches, and I don't think they show up on the YouTube feeds. So Google's, uh, YouTube is a subsidiary of Google, but YouTube seems to be operating a bit independently. My pro you know, the problem with the shadow banning is a YouTube thing. <clears throat> anyway, we're so far down the road in this. Like, I need something more than that, but that sure would help. So in this dream, sometimes it seems like I'm going back in time, and as I write this, I see a blue dot. <clears throat> and then I say, more like I'm remembering what it was like in a time period and place, noticing similarities to my background and Chris's background. Cobain had a gun that he replaced with a 38. He left this environment because he didn't feel comfortable there anymore. He grew out of it, but it was influential, and the people, including the ex-girlfriend, still seem to care about him. The ex-girlfriend seems sorry about something. Probably sorry about being involved in his death, because a lot of people were involved in Cobain's death and profited from it. But that's the thing. The reason why they get so many people involved is because they want people to be afraid of ever being exposed. And they, you know, want people to think that they'll be protected as long as they keep us in place and keep us, keep this system of trafficking and murder going. So there's a lot of people's self-interest, you know, plays into their behaviors because they've been sucked into this crime system. I don't think people at the lowest levels of this should be held accountable. I think the people higher up should be held accountable. The people that draw people into this and the trick people. They're the ones who should be hold, held accountable. And one way to hold, there's different ways to hold people accountable. You don't have to just line them up against the wall and shoot them. You don't have to put them in prison. There's lots of ways to hold people accountable. One would be not letting them hold office. Not letting them ascend to the presidency or, you know, high offices. That would be a huge, 
it would be a huge way to stop the corruption because the corruption is really, really rampant right now. Huge rampant, hugely rampant. It's really bad. Since now all of this is dangerous to me, linked to efforts to keep us in place. So that's what it is. It's the, you know, these people had involvements in different ways. And even Cobain's mother, I mean, Cobain wasn't just kidnapped and taken to ocean shores. And I really do believe he was taken to ocean shores and manipulated by my family. He wasn't just taken. His family allowed that to happen, just like my family allowed it to happen and Courtney Lowe's family allowed it to happen to her. I close my eyes and I see sticks everywhere. Sense of Kate McKinnon. So I don't know why Kate McKinnon keeps coming up in here, but I think it has to do with her family. Links to, I mean, at some point I saw her name linked to the number 33, so it's, you know, Masonic links probably. She would have only been 10 years old when Cobain died, so it wouldn't have been her, you know, personally been involved, but at a family level, something must have been going on. And then I get the word coast. I get the word coast while thinking about bizarre behaviors, to me bizarre, bizarre of people who've experienced extreme trauma, people who lo lose a close family member but hold on to the very system that can cause the death of that person or people. That's when the word coast comes to me.